Hi guys, I'm Justin from Computer Science and Engineering Department. Today I'm here with my second experiment of the Compiler Design Lab and the topic for today is Symbol Table Generation. So the aim of the program is to write a program to scan the input program and generate a symbol table. And then we have a so algorithm for this. And the question is, write a program to generate symbol table for a given input or source program. So when the input is given like in a comma b comma is equal to five cas is d, it should be uh, in a format of the table. So I have already made the code. Just I'll show you. So here again I have uh, imported re which stands for regular expressions and then here what I am doing is uh, I am not giving the input I am just taking the input from a file that is file2.txt this is how the file looks file2 I have given the sample input here after that um, I am doing a file.read lines which uh, is used for reading the content of the file and then we are closing the file with file.close here after that I have declared what are the data type that is end float double and like that for operators again I have given some of the operators inside the square brackets for the symbol also the same thing and I have taken an item um, which is an empty uh, nothing is there inside and then I have taken x equal to some blank thing even a final uh, it's also a blank thing now what I am doing is I am taking a for loop which starts from zero till the length of the whole uh, program after that again i am taking another for loop which is in the like for j in cunt so in uh, before line we can see cunt they will have all the program in the uh, file so after that um, we have uh, uh, this is just an output format just to display how the output looks after that again i have used a for loop for j in cunt and then p uh, in square brackets without space into 6 after that we are doing a regular expression function re dot find all so this find all function finds this int float long double any of this thing if it's present and that value is being stored in d and if that length of that d is greater than 0 again we are searching for re dot find all all this stuff and after that there may be a dot slash and then this is a format of regular expression if you don't understand this please do refer the regular expression in the uh, internet so that you can understand this concept so after that if r is not equal to a blank or like if nothing is available then what we do is we uh, assign the p of 0 as 0 of 1 uh, this is just a two dimensional array or then we are just passing out the array elements and then again after that we are again searching for with the help of re.findall again after that we have used uh, for loop for k in u and then s is equal to s plus k uh, it's just concatenating all those stuffs s is just a blank you can see there's nothing no content in this after that when k comes we are just concatenating it after that p of 5 is given uh, like value of s after the p of 4 is given the length of u and then we are appending it into the final uh, else what we are doing is again we are finding for interfloat all these things and along with that regular expressions and then we are passing the first element of the first uh, column to v and then we are declaring on the variable stress uh, in which we don't have anything we just have uh, empty uh, list after that q of 0 is equal to list of q of 0 converting it into list and then we are removing the semicolon using the function q of 0 dot removes in bracket semicolon after that for ide in q of 0 we are splitting it uh, comma and then inside that we are checking whether int long short double care exists or not if it exists we are continuing after that we are again displaying like initializing an l again inside that we are having a for loop g in f o and then p e is equal to an empty uh, list into 6 and then if equal to in g if there is a presence of equal to then we are passing p e of 1 and the value of v is passed into this and then we are finding g dot find is equal to after that p e 
zero we are giving it to g e g of t e and p e of three is g uh, t e plus one this is just general assignments and then we are appending the results after that in the else we have p e of zero is z and p e of one is v p e of three is zero and then we are at last we are appending everything after that for uh, displaying the result for k in final uh, before that we have uh, dic uh, dic uh, in which we have uh, used a curly braces and uh, we have that um, inside that all the uh, values will be stored after that dic k of 0 is k of 1 from 1 it will take up all the positions and then inside that we are having a for loop g in dic and then we are printing g plus 5 into x like that so let me run the program and show you how it works so this is what the input is and a of b i have already shown you the text file and then uh, this is how uh, the table looks uh, actually the alignment is not that uh, i didn't do it uh, so i hope you understood the general concept um, it's a little tough but still if we try we can get the concepts um, it's just to my identifying all those uh, characters and identifiers and the number of parameters the type of parameters return value everything so i hope i could able to make you understand this concepts thank you for watching my video please do like share and subscribe